Hey guys, my name is Jamie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if this isn't your first time. If this isn't your first time, you probably are noticing I've got some curls going on. I don't know what my hair is doing today. It's a weekend. <laughs> I went to the grocery store for the first time in months probably. I always do grocery pickup, so I had to see people. <laughs> I think my hair just wasn't ready for it. My hair just does its own thing all the time. So as you could probably tell from the title of this video, I have a trunk club box to share with you today. And I'm sipping on a little cocktail because it's Saturday and I can and I just feel like it. So this is called a sea breeze. It's vodka, cranberry juice, like 100% sour cranberry juice, grapefruit juice, and a little bit of maple syrup. It's really good if you like sour things. <laughs> which I do. My All right. So really the reason I have a cocktail at three o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday is because I'm testing them out. So my family is doing this big cocktail party where it's just my family, but we're each bringing a cocktail for everybody to try and we have to dress up in cocktail attire. And I think it's going to be so much fun, but I have no idea what to bring. I am not really well versed in cocktails, so I'm trying them out. And that's the first one I'm trying out. <laughs> So I'm not sure if everyone's going to like the sourness of that. I suppose if I added more of something sweet, like a simple syrup or more maple syrup or something like that, it would be fine. But maybe I'll just leave it as is and make them pucker up a little bit. All right, guys, let's get right into my Nordstrom trunk club box for the month of November. This thing is so heavy and so gigantic. I mean, <laughs> it's so big. I also haven't opened it at all, but this is how it came to me and you have to send whatever you're not keeping back in the box so yeah <laughs> it's kind of a mess i um also will tell you i am on a no buy so i have made a rule for myself that i am not buying anything in the month of november i'm still really excited to get my subscription boxes and try everything on for you but i'm not keeping anything unless i happen to have a credit that will cover it so we'll see what's in this box i did get a preview i think i chose maybe three of the items and just had them replace everything else. I have no idea what's in this. I will show you guys because I haven't opened this box at all. Everything in the box does come wrapped in plastic. So I know the top thing here is actually a blanket. So when you get your preview, you can go through and decide what you want to keep, what you don't want to keep. You can also sometimes switch out for other items that are kind of similar, but not the same thing, which is really nice. You can also switch out colors. I just really like that you have that option with Nordstrom. However, at the end, when you've picked all of your items that are going in your box, you get to pick three more add-on things, just in case you have that credit of $25 that you spent on the styling fee and you don't want to lose it. Maybe you want some makeup item or some sort of blanket or, I don't know, underclothing of some kind. You can add that into the box and then you can use that to take up your styling fee if you want. So anyway, I'm going to unwrap everything in this box and I will show you everything in just a sec. Okay, guys, that took forever because there are 13 things in this box. That means I need to go through them really quickly. Otherwise, <laughs> everybody's going to get bored really fast. So there are actually two pieces of jewelry in this box. I don't remember two pieces of jewelry. So ooh, some really pretty earrings. These are by Nordstrom and they're just cubic zirconia sterling silver earrings. Maybe I should tell you the prices as we're going through these. So these earrings are $50 and they're really pretty. I'm on a no buy. <laughs> I think I might have $50 in credit. Thank you to one of you. Thank you so much. I so much appreciate it when someone uses my referral link. It's just, it really helps me to kind of continue to get these subscription boxes on my channel. So thank you so much. Whoever used my credit, I'm not sure they didn't tell me on this slip. So. I'm not sure who did, but thank you so much if you did. So the next thing, oh, is this chain necklace. I did pick this out, or I think I they picked it out and I just said, okay, I, I'll keep it. I love the gold. I love that it's really simple and I could wear it with anything. In fact, I might just try it on with this top. And yeah, this is just, it's just a very simple chain, but I really like it. And it's also because it's not super delicate, it won't like tie up on itself, which drives me insane. I know I'm not alone in that. <laughs> That chain necklace is by Madewell and it's $32. All right, next up is this naked wardrobe bodysuit. I have recently bought two bodysuits and they were both black, but 
who couldn't use a good black bodysuit. This one has really thick material, which is really nice because I don't think you'll see anything through it. So that's always a plus. It has nice long sleeves and it's got the snaps here. And this one is by Naked Wardrobe and it costs $42. Okay, then we have a pair of leggings. These are also by Naked Wardrobe. These are $44 and they're in dark gray. They're just basic leggings. I think they were one of my add-ons. So when I got to the end and decided I wanted to add on a few items, those were in there. Next up is this beautiful sweater. It might be very hard for me to not keep this sweater. This one's by Sanctuary. It's in an extra small. This is sort of like that beautiful camel color, that sort of really fuzzy material. Oh my gosh, you guys. I wish you could feel how soft and warm this sweater already feels and I don't even have it on my body. However, this sweater is $79. <laughs> so it's probably a no-go with my no-buy if I don't have enough credit, which I'll have to see. But yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, next up is another sweater. It still has paper in it somewhere. Oh, all right, this one is by BP. It's this very dark, dark green color. It's beautiful. It's a crop sweater, so it's really cute. Um, but this one is, let's see, this one looks like it's $40, or it says $40 on the tag. Really nice color, especially for fall. This next top is... I think I did pick this out and say I would try it. I'm not sure it's my style, but I do like to try things that are outside my comfort zone sometimes. This one is by Treasure and Bond. It's an extra small. There's a tag here, and the tag says $49, and the tag is right. <laughs> Just check the invoice. So this one is cropped. Oh, it even has buttons at the sleeves down here. This one's definitely going to be interesting to try on, but definitely it's not a style I have in my wardrobe for sure. Next up is this skirt, which... <laughs> I have to say this was in my preview I did tell them to go ahead and send it I on the model it looked like a midi skirt which I'm looking for however I am not a 5'11 model I'm a 5'4 average person <laughs> so this skirt by treasure and bond which is $49 is probably actually a maxi skirt on me and yeah <laughs> not a midi skirt. It feels like a very warm sweater though. So I can imagine wearing that on a cold winter day would feel amazing. Okay, we're moving along. This next pair of pants, guys, are these coming back? Stirrups? <laughs> are stirrup pants coming back? I have no idea, but I thought it was so funny and I just needed to try them on because yeah. <laughs> I haven't worn a pair of stirrup pants since maybe 1992. So these are by Topshop. They are black and they are $49. There's just such an interesting mix in this box, guys. All right, we're getting down there, I promise. The next thing is this dress, which I thought was so pretty. This one was also in my preview. This one is by Vero Moda, and it is just like this strappy, oh, now I can see it's very sheer. Um, <laughs> cute little dress, which I thought would be super fun for vacation or something like that. This one is $45. It's very gauzy. It's like that. I don't even know. It's probably rayon. It feels like that rayon gauzy feel. All right, two more things. No, three more things. <laughs> We've got this dress, which I think was maybe also in my preview. I can't remember at this point. It's been like two weeks. <laughs> I have a terrible memory for this stuff. This dress is by Topshop as well. And this one is, it's got like these puffy sleeves. It's a really fun design. Probably not perfect for winter, but it would be a really fun spring look. This one is $50. And then I got, this was one of my add-ons. Oh my gosh, I got this because I thought it would look so cute at the end of my bed here. So this is, what is this? This is the Bliss Plush Throw by Nordstrom. And this one's $39.50. So this is just like the softest blanket. And it would also look really nice on my couch. So if I don't keep anything else, I might keep that blanket. If I keep anything, because I'm on a no-buy. All right, guys, very last thing is a pair of shoes. I can't remember what these are, but I feel like they were expensive. These are by Caslon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I remember. <laughs> all right. So if you've been around my channel with me at all, these are definitely not something I would normally wear. I tend to go for really feminine things, just sort of very girly things with feminine touches. This to me feels exactly the opposite. It feels like hiker boots. However, I am trying to get outside my comfort zone. So I let them go ahead and send them. So we're going to try them. I don't know what we're going to try them with, but we're going to try them. All right, guys, that is everything. Sorry that took so long. Let's get into the try on and I will try to pair as many things together as I possibly can. This is good. Okay. 
Okay, so I am starting out with two of the items. One is this beautiful sweater by Sanctuary, which is actually, it feels a little bit too big for me, so I don't mind that, you know, I'm probably not keeping this one. It really does feel like it has a lot of material to it, and it's not a color that goes super well with my complexion at this time of the year. I have lost my tan, it's November, <laughs> bye bye tan. However, I love the sleeve length. I love that it's like this super soft, I feel like I'm wearing a teddy bear. I don't know why you would ever want to do that, but it feels like a very warm teddy bear is on me. So <laughs> that's a great feeling. So let me show you the fabric close up. I have no idea what it's made of. I could totally look it up, but I just love that fluffy look. I'm also wearing the shoes. So let me pan down so you can see those. Okay, so here are the moon boots, I guess. I don't know if there's another word for them. I'm calling them moon boots. They're very heavy on my feet. So I think these would be great for someone who doesn't mind that, but I am just used to wearing footwear that's not quite so heavy. It is such a fun look though. Like I did not think I was gonna like them. Maybe if you rolled up the pants a little bit. I don't know. I just think they're, they are cute. They're much, they're much different on my feet than I thought they were gonna be. They are definitely fun. All right, let's move on. All right, before we get too far, I wanted to show you this necklace, which was the Madewell necklace. I think it's really, really cute. I love it because it's one of those adjustable necklaces, so it can kind of go below what you're wearing or above, depending on how you wanna wear it. And it's just, you know, a very simple sort of chain link necklace. So, okay, let's see what else we've got here. Okay, I'm really glad I'm getting this dress out of the way in the beginning. I try to be as positive as I can about things, but this dress is just not for me. Um, what do I like about it? I like the colors, sort of, not together so much, <laughs> but I like the colors individually. Um, what else? Probably nothing, unfortunately. So let me back up. I don't even know if I can turn around. I did not zip this thing up all the way because the zipper, it's too tight on me. So. It's very short. It's that material that sticks to everything. Like it's sticking to, I mean, we are in New England in the fall, so there's a lot of static cling starting to happen, but it, it already just sticks to everything. <laughs> I'll do a quick little turn here. You can probably see it's, I don't even know what it's doing in the back. It's open. There's a tie in the back. I'm wearing a cami underneath because it plunges pretty low. It's got these big puffy sleeves. I feel like who is the actress who plays in that that movie Working Girl. Do you guys remember that movie from the 80s? Is it Melanie Griffiths? I don't know. But anyway, I feel like it's a very 80s <laughs> kind of dress and not in the best way. So this one was by Topshop. It's definitely not a keeper for me. Just, I think the material is the problem. It's so thin, it's just so clingy. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Okay, this sweet dress by Vero Moda totally makes up for that last one. I think this dress is so adorable. I don't know how sheer it's coming across with my lights, but I think this dress would be the perfect little party dress for fall parties, winter parties, you know, as long as you have some sort of covering or cardigan or something, I just think it would be so adorable. This is very like, sort of gauzy material. I have it on in an extra small. I feel like if it shrunk at all, it probably wouldn't be good because it is a little bit on the tighter side. But I just think this is an adorable look for a, a little party. Not a work look, but going out to any kind of party, I think it would be so cute. Or just going out for a date night or something like that. I don't know if you can really see the details well because it is black, but it has these cute little spaghetti straps and they are adjustable, so. I just really love this one. I think if I were keeping things, this would be on the list for sure. This one was $45. All right, guys, I'm basically just pairing whatever together at this point so we can get through this try-on a little bit faster. So the sweater is by BP and the leggings are by Naked Wardrobe. So this crop sweater, I think is super cute actually, as long as you wear it with high-waisted something, it's a really cute top. I don't think I would necessarily wear it with leggings because I'm 41 years old and I don't do the leggings thing without something covering my bum, but they're high-waisted so they worked for at least the front <laughs> of this outfit. So here's what I kind of did with it. You can judge all you want, I know. <laughs> It doesn't look great like this, but some high-waisted jeans would look super cute with this sweater. I just don't have the time to go find my high-waisted jeans in my wardrobe. So anyway, so here's the back of the sweater. 
I really love the color of this. I think it's a great color for fall. The leggings are, I'll pan down a little bit. They're pretty comfortable. They suck me in actually pretty well. They're definitely more like body shaping kind of leggings, which I don't love because I don't love something pressing on my stomach, but here they are. I'll do a quick spin around for you. <laughs> nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. And I think they were like $40 or so, but anyway, that's that outfit. I will say the sweater by BP, while the sleeves are definitely long enough, I feel like if it shrunk at all, they would be too short for me. I have super long arms, so not sure this one would work out if I was keeping anything, but I do like the cropped length. I am more into cropped lengths now as I get older, which is so weird <laughs> because most people are not, but I just think they're fun sometimes. Okay, I don't know if this top, maybe you guys can help me, is supposed to be on the shoulders or off the shoulders. Either way, you would really need to wear um, a strapless bra with it. It's, I just kind of pulled my bra straps down because I didn't realize it was going to be this square of a neck, but I think you could wear it either way and it would be cute. I think it's meant to be a square neck top though. So again, this one was by Treasure and Bond. I really love blues like this because I feel like the blue in this top really brings out the blue in my eyes, but I would be driven crazy, I think, by the way these sleeves sit and kind of just fall off whenever they feel like it. So let me back up because I am also wearing the stirrup pants, guys. <laughs> I feel so weird walking in these pants, probably because they don't fit quite right. They're a little bit on the bigger side, but uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't put shoes on because I wanted you to really see the stirrup action. It is, it is something. I don't think stirrups should make a comeback. <laughs> I'll tell you that just, just, I'll be honest. Here's the back of these. They really are like work type pants. They're like that. I don't know. They just, scream work pants to me, but oh, those stirrups. I, yeah, no, <laughs> they are high-waisted. They go above my belly button. I think they're supposed to. I don't really know because again, the stirrups have to be held down, so they have to be high enough up so the, <laughs> the stirrups don't like flop, but the pants are a definite no. The top, if I could find something in this color that didn't have, you know, like really wide shoulders that I could wear a bra with, it needs to be bra friendly. I would totally want to keep it because I love the color. So anyway, all right, let me show you the back of this really quickly. I, I do love a good neckline, but this one's just too wide. All right, I have, oh, I only have one more outfit and then we're all done. <laughs> Let's try that one on and see how it goes. Okay, full disclosure, the bodysuit by Naked Wardrobe was way too tight on me. Like, way too I didn't even try to put it on. Like, I tried, but no. <laughs> there was no even getting it past my arms. So I put on my own bodysuit, which came from Kohl's this season. It's by SO, I think. And I just wanted to put it on with this skirt by Topshop. The skirt is adorable. I am tempted to keep this skirt with my credit. I want to know what you guys think. So I'm going to pan down a little bit so you can see kind of the whole outfit together. I, it's a little bit shorter than I thought. It's not that full maxi length like I thought it was gonna be. So I just put on some tall boots with it. It's really form fitting and I haven't really looked to see how much you can see, you know, like how unforgiving it is with little lumps and bumps everywhere. But I think it's a super sleek look with a bodysuit. So I would love to know your thoughts on this one. I have to I have to consider this because I do have about $50 in credit and this skirt is, I think it was $59. But I have to look and see if my styling fee also goes toward the box. So I need to see if I have $75 in credit or just 50. So anyway, I would love to know what you guys think about this. I feel like I could pair it with a lot of other things, not just, you know, like a, a bodysuit. I feel like because it's sleek enough, I feel like you could wear something a little bit more flowy with it, but it's just, it's a really fun look. It is a sweater material, so I also need to look and see what it's made out of so that I would know if it would shrink or not, but I think it's pretty cute. Okay, let's talk about these things a little bit. So like I told you in the beginning, I am on a no buy. I really can't buy anything from this box other than maybe one thing that my credit will cover. So this skirt is a definite maybe for me. I would love to know what you guys think. I really think other than this, I maybe wouldn't keep anything anyway. That black dress, I might keep that black dress. That was adorable and I think that I, if I could find some places to wear it, I think I would get a lot of use out of it. We don't go a ton of really dressy places. That cocktail party that we're having with my family is 
very specifically cocktail dresses that we have found in thrift stores. So something like that I couldn't wear anyway, but I really think that would be such a fun dress for something dressy and cute. Other than that, I'm not sure I would keep anything anyway. Maybe the necklace. I liked that sort of very basic necklace. But yeah, I think I would pretty much send everything else back anyway. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was a fun box. This was definitely an out of my comfort zone kind of box, and I really like doing that sometimes. So thanks for coming along with me. If you like this kind of thing, I do lots of clothing subscription unboxings, clothing hauls and try-ons, lots of lifestyle stuff, especially this month because I am on that no buy and I'm trying to put in a little bit of our lifestyle and family and just general happy things in between all of the clothing unboxings. So please stick around, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.